Hi, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life on this Tuesday, April 16th. I'm Derek Shore, along with Houston Life correspondent Lauren Kelly. Hi, also Derek. Also star of the Morning Mix on Mix 96.5. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And we should call you Auntie, too, because Sarah Pepper just had her baby. Yes, adorable. Parker Pepper is here, and she's just this tiny little Easter egg. She's just adorable. You know, Sarah is, like, this big, too. So little tiny Parker Pepper is here, and we just love her. She's our, she's our newest addition. Newest addition. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of babies, Tex is no longer <laughs> a little baby. No. Are you stretching, buddy? Listen, Courtney is out on assignment right now. Uh, Lauren, thank you so much for, for coming in to fill in. And you Anytime. chose a great day because, uh, as Texie can smell, there's a bit of rosé going on oh, on set today. Oh, rosé day? Rosé day, yeah. And uh, we will give you a little hint, by the way, where Courtney is. Okay. So she's out on assignment. It involves deep designer discounts. So it's a major designer label, deep discounts. You know, okay. Courtney loves to shop. I know. Her wardrobe makes me super envious every single day. I I'm going to have her dress me. Next time. You always look great, my dear, but That's Courtney because I only have some good tips. I only have to dress nice like once a week. <laughs> you dress for radio. The rest of the time I'm in pajamas. You know what? That is so cool. You can just roll out of bed. What time do you get there? 4.30? Uh, about maybe 4.15, yeah. I'm up at 3, there at 4.15, oh, rosé at 5. Okay, well, why don't we put up a little timer, a countdown to Courtney's okay. little uh, surprise assignment. In the meantime, did you see how well I just opened that bottle that of rosé? That was the quietest and most impressive way I've ever seen anybody open. There's a, a bit of, of disagreement rose. about whether the bottle should pop or whether you should, you know, just silently sort of let it out. What do you think? I don't know. I think it depends on the occasion. I think there are times to really let it rip. I think that everybody knows that sound and everybody knows it as a celebration, so I like to just let it rip. Let, let it rip, make a pop. Well, listen, coming up later in the show, we're going to teach uh, all of you out there, and we're going to learn a few things ourselves on how we can rosé all day. Okay. You know, rosé is like a big thing right now. Everybody loves rosé. But we're not the experts. Um, we're we we're going to get to that a little later on in the show, but okay. we figured it would be appropriate to start the show with a little toast. Cheers. Because today is what, Lauren? Tell it is Selena's birthday. It is Selena's birthday. It's the Queen of Tejano Music's day. It's not officially on the calendar, but everybody, especially here in Houston and Texas, celebrates Selena as much as we can. And For especially sure. on her birthday, we'll definitely cheers. Well, and can you believe, cheers to, uh, to Selena, the late Selena, who I didn't even know who she was until she died, and then I became a huge fan. It's kind of hard to believe she would have been 47 years old. Well, you think about Jennifer Lopez, who's about to turn 50, and I, I guess there weren't that many years in between them. Yeah. And you have to think about who would have been bigger if Selena still would be around today. I know. I mean, she totally uh, she was already a massive, massive star. Of course, mm -hmm. her last concert was here in Houston at the Astrodome. Um, by the way, Tex is okay. He, <laughs> I know he just did a magic trick and disappeared off the table. Someone actually picked him up and walked him away. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now you see him, now you don't. Stealing our dog? What are you doing, He Katie? wanted the bottle. I mean... Also, a big happy do? birthday to Courtney's husband, Orlando. Oh, should we toast to that? Toast happy to birthday, Orlando. Orlando. Look at those yeah. cuties. Oh, yay! Oh. Orlando, of course, is uh, such a great guy. They're their they're kids, AJ and Connor. And a uh, great little family. What a beautiful family. And Courtney posted a great little tribute to Orlando this morning, talking about how she was so happy to marry her best friend. Oh, that's so How long have they been married? Do you know? 17 years. 17 years. Good job. 17 years. Pretty much the entire time she has been in Houston. Gosh, 17 years. It's a long time. It is a long time. It's a long time. time to be married, somebody. <laughs> and by the way, this morning, so I just got this Facebook invite mm -hmm. to potentially attend my 20 year oh. high school reunion. First of all, that's a little bit of a trip that high school years. was 20 years ago. But uh, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about Did the you idea. go to your 10 year? No. And in fact, I think they did a five year. I didn't even drink my... Oh yeah, we didn't know. even taste it. I, but I'm, taste. I'm very close in age to you. I met 19 years. 19, and the oh. thought of that scares me. I didn't go to my 10 year either. Why not? It wasn't planned very well. It was kind of unorganized. But since Facebook was a thing, people kind of took it amongst themselves to make a Facebook group and like, yeah. hey, we're going to be here. I just opted out of it. But where do they where do they hold it? At a bar? It was or a bar. Something? Yeah, it was a bar. They had like a little area surrounded with some food and things like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Do you still hang out with friends from high school? No. 
None, um, none. Actually, one of my... Oh, there you oh, are. dear. You look exactly the same. Oh, come on. We've shown this picture before. Um, that was a stick-on tux, by the way. A stick-on tux? You, what does that mean? I mean, it's like wham, bam, sit down for your photo. Two <laughs> seconds later, you're done. They Velcroed the tux over. It's just like a shoulder no. piece. Oh, yeah. They've no, that's a thing? Photos. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they line you up like cattle. Man, it's, it's amazing to, to look at these photos and realize how much time has gone by, but... Honestly, looking at the Facebook group, maybe if I still lived in Salt Lake, uh -huh. I would go because the reunion is just down the street. But I don't think I would... I, I don't know. I mean... There's not anybody you really need to see or stay in touch with or... Would you buy Want to be like, ticket? look how good looking I am right now? That's, uh, what, that's why you go to a, a high school reunion. Oh, I feel like a lot of people would go to the reunion just to kind of like show off yeah, and talk about yeah. how great their lives are. But... I don't know. I, I feel like Facebook, honestly, is kind of the cure for going to your high school reunion because you can see what... You can see everything. You can see what people are up to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And actually, my high school... Um, actually, it was my high school boyfriend, Nick. Um, <laughs> we, he is still one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And he lives in New York City now. And we still stay in touch, okay. for sure. And my friend Holly, we stay in touch. But the rest of these folks, I clicked on the reunion link, and I'm like, oh my gosh... Not, not that we weren't friends back then, but I feel like when you're growing up, you have these situational friends. For sure. Like, you just happen to be, yeah, be yeah. friends with them because you happen to... You have, like, to... multiple different groups of friends. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but you didn't... Like, let's say your first job in radio, right? Mm -hmm. You came to that radio station because you had an interest and you all shared this okay. collective passion. All right. But in high school... Not the same. You just sort of, like, landed in your neighborhood yeah. without your... Oh, yeah. doing. My best friend, her brother was cute. That's why I was best friends with her. Well, there you right? go. Are you still friends with us? Yes, school? yes. I'm friends with a lot of my high school friends. But I grew up in Houston, so we're all still here. Oh, I'm very true. lucky that all of my family and all of my friends from school are still in the city. I think it's different when you, oh, what? Oh, God. Wh what is that? Here's, hold on. That, that is not you in high school. <laughs> Let me set this up for you. <laughs> Please do, because I'm not this sure what is, I'm looking at. This is my seventh grade year of middle school. Oh, okay. The rest of our pictures got ruined in Harvey. They were in photo albums, mm. and they were at my parents' house. So oh this gosh. is the only one that I could find, which is also why it's not in color. I'm not that old. <laughs> It's but I went to middle school at Welch Middle School with Beyonce and Kelly. They're in my yearbook. No way. Mm -hmm. They're, I'm, the, I'm the same exact age as Beyonce. Yeah, she's one year older. One year than older. Me. So graduated yeah. high school in 1999. Mm -hmm. Beyonce knows and Kelly Rowland. Yeah. Yeah. My goodness. Well, that's they a really obviously good story. went on to do good things. Were you best friends with them? We were so best friends. You were so we close. go so far back. You like this rose. We go so videos. far back. Listen, we've put up a poll on your screen right there. It's at clicktovote.com. If you think I should go to my high school reunion, please weigh in. Because, honestly, I need a little guidance. Like, if you went to your high school reunion and then you loved it and you're glad you did, please let me know. Uh, find my KPRC Channel okay. 2 Facebook page and let me know. I'll and say. if you didn't go, also let me know as well. Because, I, again, like, it's in August. Am I really going to take time off Houston life? Spend money on a plane ticket, go home to see people that I sat next to in class once or twice. That you may not even recognize. 20 years is a long time. Does that sound horrible to say? Yes. You should go. <laughs> you think I should go? You should go. You should for sure go, and you should Facebook Live it. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Viewers, help me out. Please say no so that I have a reason <laughs> to like be backed up. It looks like most of you so far are saying yes. Yes. You have to go. You're the most. You're going to be the most successful in your class, yeah. and if anything at all, that's why you should go and pop that bottle. That, first of all, thank you for saying that. I don't think that's true, and people will be like, "Wait, you host Houston Wake Up Houston? What now? Like, Not Good Morning Houston, Houston Mall Show, Mall TV so, Show? So modest. Houston What Now? Derek is so modest. No, I'm serious. I, I, but I don't think the reason to go back is to be like, "Oh, well, I have a job." You know what I mean? But literally, what else do you go to a high school reunion for? I would go home to see my mom, and that's probably okay. Quiet. All right, if you were from there and you haven't seen your family in a while, for sure. But yeah. you have to go to Bragg. Well, and thanks for weighing in, guys. It looks like most of you are still saying yes, so we're gonna have to <laughs> chat about this a little later on. But in the meantime, let's continue chatting about rose all okay, day. Okay, and today, okay. I'm so excited about this. We're gonna show you how to build this chic bar cart for your little spring party. If you weren't thinking of having one, then now you can. We'll also mix up a very simple and delicious Ooh. 
cocktail using some rosé. Plus, a tribute to the Queen of Tejano music on Selena Day. A special performance of Dreaming of You is coming up a little bit later on in the show. All right, folks, so as we sit here sipping on our rosé champagne, um, Courtney is out on assignment, but uh, I think she's having a pretty good time. Okay. So, Courtney, where are you? And tell us, was there oh. a little bit of a celebrity sighting this hmm. morning? I don't know. Someone we might I know? I mean, you know, cue the celebrity. She's just walking up behind <gasps> me, in case you don't know who that is. Sarah Jessica Parker oh. is here uh. in Houston. This is the biggest shoe sale you've ever seen. Look how right? close she is. She's here. She is helping people Walk up to with her. the shoes. This is a sample sale. Listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now. She's not doing media, and you want me to finish this live shot? I don't want to get kicked out. So she's been very gracious to she's everybody, all the Harry, shoppers here. Like there Harry is a Brad charitable Brad component Brad. here. I know. She's right there. But listen, she's busy. She's doing her thing. We are told to not put a camera in her face. She's been great. We chatted. It was awesome. All of these shoes, you guys, they're here. They're ready for Houston to come buy them. The prices start at just $80. Again, we said there is a charitable component. She's also helping people shop. She's, yeah, that's what she's doing. Don't go anywhere, y'all, because she's like an arm's length away from me. We have the more bigger story coming up right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Do not change that channel. Hey guys, welcome back to Houston Life. I am live at the Bayou City Event Center. This is about 288 in Almeda, where the biggest shoe sale is happening right now. Sarah Jessica Parker is here in Houston. She's helping customers right here try on her great shoes. This is a sample sale. This is for the shopper's delight. But y'all, people were lined up here as early as 6 a.m. this morning. Well, I got here at 6 because I wanted to make sure to be the first one in line. Yes! Oh, yes, We're taking all, yes! all of this! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why Hi, you Dr. guys Logan wanted to be here so early today. Today. Uh, Nice well, to I meet you. SJP. Thanks so much She's for joining us and sticking idol. around. Hey, Gentlemen, if we can stop up here. My stepdad is actually battling prostate cancer, so it's just very near and dear to my heart that she's supporting it and also her shoes so it's just trifecta i started watching her show sex and the city and i became a huge fan of her she's a fashion icon and i love her with my husband battling cancer so you know it's it's very touching in fact we'll be at md anderson tomorrow so but it's it's a worthy cause i'm glad that sarah jessica's you know doing this Y'all, the doors opened at 9 a.m. They will be open until 7 p.m. There are plenty of goodies for everybody to come shop for. But again, we did tell you that there is a charitable component. The whole reason why Sarah Jessica Parker brought this shoe sample sale to Houston to benefit MD Anderson, there's a personal story here. Tony, your guide is here. You're also the vice president of Sarah Jessica Parker Collection. Thanks so much. We're going to intro the men down the line. But you're a prostate cancer survivor and we're treated right here in Houston at MD Anderson. Correct, correct. What does I, it mean like for you to be here? Oh, it, it's, it's just a great cause. And I want to tell, tell the story, you know, because now there's, there's a, you know, it was a great treatment. My cancer was er eradicated and let people know. Got a, you know, there's a great, great uh, team at MD Anderson, and you know, this is a way I can maybe acknowledge all the good work they have done. Well, it's so great to have you in our backyard today and here in Houston, and also congratulations on being cancer-free. That's fantastic, uh, and being treated by one of the best uh, cancer doctors in history, Dr. Christopher Logothetis, who is your doctor. You guys were reunited today, which is so fantastic. What does this mean to you, not only to have your patient here, but to really shine a, a light on prostate cancer and what MD Anderson is doing here in Houston? So I think the most important thing is we're all humbled by their energy and what they brought and the gratitude that they've shown for us. And it makes us want to actually serve them even more and make sure we're good stewards of their trust. But the credit really needs to go to Tony and his partner, George, here, because they've actually tolerated some very difficult therapies and were pioneers when the course wasn't clear what was going to happen. They actually took some chances and they succeeded. So it was an equal partnership 
and that partnership continues in this affair. So we're humbled and we're committed to being good stewards of their trust. Well, it's so great to have you all here. And George, it's wonderful Hello, to meet you. Nice I'm sure you're super excited to be I'm here as so well. so excited, so excited and so grateful to Dr. Logothetis and MD Anderson for what they've done for Tony and for, for our lives and for having Sarah Jessica Parker, you know, our partner in this, be you know, gracious enough to come and bring a load of shoes for all you ladies out there. Keep coming, keep coming. <laughs> um, and, 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 and to all benefit MD Anderson, the great uh, job they do every day. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I know you're also helping the ladies as they shop shopping, as well. Right? So I don't want to take time away from that because I got to do some shopping as well. Continued right. great health to you. Thanks and thank you all so much. much. Right. And guys, the doors will be open until 7 p.m. tonight. There's plenty of inventory here. The sizes start at size five and go up to about a, a 12. They go to a 12, size five to 12. There is something for everyone. Flats, heels, sparkle, no sparkle handbags. There were some trench coats here too. And listen, if you were here this morning, come back because things have already come back on the table. And if you're at work watching this, I feel you. You're getting a migraine. You must go home. I mean, you must come here to shop. Bayou City Event Center off of 288 in Almeda, 7 p.m. I got to shop, guys. This is the best assignment I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, yeah, and I love that it's all for such a great cause. Could we just get uh, one more it's look at, at SJP, SJP, please? Like, where is she now? Could, could she you was just, right behind She's like Courtney. a cat, y'all. She just Where like she? she just like from one point to the other. She is here. Do you all see Sarah Jessica? Do you see her around here anyway? They just want one more look at her. We just want um, to see. Just, I, I mean, know. it's she's just like so a cat. rare that it happens. I know. I also Listen, can't believe I will, she's there trying I will on tell shoes. you. She no, she was helping like people helping try people. shoes on. I know and it's also, incredible. Yes, she walked past me and I said, "Thank you so much for coming to Houston." And she goes, "Me?" And I was like. Uh, yeah. 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 Thanks for coming. She's like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much for being here. And I was like, <laughs> she's dead. D.E.D. -E -D. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, it was crazy. But you guys look at this, too. I want to show you something. This is the checkout line. So once you find your stuff, this is not in and out. Like, you got to check it out, right? This is the checkout line. They'll bring you some water. They come around. She actually, Sarah Jessica Parker, walked up and talked to all the people on the line. She even like brought shoes to people that said, no, I think this is the one that you actually need. This has been such a great experience. She literally has been mingling with people, not any press at all. Um, she wanted to just be here for the fundraiser for MD Anderson, speak to the people that were actually here. Um, you know, she's just been so gracious, her entire team. And of course, as you met Tony and George and Dr. Christopher, I mean, it's just been such a fantastic thing. Again, another sh spotlight on here. Houston of what great things are happening here, right? It's That's true. Wonderful. Houston is one of a kind. Well, Courtney, have they fun out size, there. They had your size, Derek. We may come. They Actually, said 12, right? I, I'm a size 14, I okay. think. Okay. We'll look minutes. for some 14. So, uh, <laughs> Courtney, have fun. <laughs> Buy all the shoes. Have a good time. We'll see you a little bit later. After the break, from pastel blues to pinks to do-it-yourself chocolate bunny milk cups, Ooh. we are sharing tablescape ideas for your next gathering. With Meredith. We'll be right back. back. Whether you are planning to host an Easter breakfast, lunch, or dinner this weekend, you'll want to spruce up your table. And our next guest has festive options for both kids and adults. Here to help set the right tone for your Easter tablescapes is lifestyle blogger Meredith Staggers with Cake Confetti. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Color and fun is what your Instagram is all about. That's why you have so many followers. <laughs> uh, and I love that that's what you brought uh, today. Tell Tell us where to begin, because Easter is a festive, colorful time. Absolutely, yes. So this is uh, my kids' tablescape. Um, I wanted everything to be inexpensive and that you can also like order on Amazon Prime. Okay. Like yeah. tonight, last just minute in case, ordering. Um, you're having uh, people over on Saturday or Sunday. So okay. um, this is a balloon garland. Um, I've made made one of the, one of these on here before. Yeah. Um, it's just balloon garland tape that you can order on Amazon. Then you just inflate some small balloons. Oh, I see that. The string can just go through here yep. and, and piece them together. Oh, yeah. that's super nice. And then, you know, to make it Easter themed, I just took a white 
uh, Sharpie marker and then just oh. kind of like decorated them to look like Easter eggs. So you can do like polka dots, That's flowers, a idea. Um, really smart. that type of thing. Where do you get the white Sharpie marker? Uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby. But you can probably find and it. And you know like what Target. is better about that? Sometimes the decorated balloons are a little bit more. So you go with the plain ones and mm -hmm. you can decorate yourself. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So you can pick these balloons up at Target, Party City. Um, Amazon. And what do you call this? Because the great thing is, I'm not sure if the viewers at home can see, but what's inside this balloon garland is this little strip of plastic. So then after you blow the balloon up, you kind of shove the end through this and it yep. holds it in place. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's called balloon tape. Balloon um, tape. Uh -huh. And so it's what they use to create like the big balloon arches okay. and everything like that. So everything stays in place yes, there. Yes, absolutely. And that's what you can hang it with too, yeah? Yeah, you can okay. hang it super lightweight if you wanted to do something bigger and not. So this is just like as a runner, okay. but you could always, you know, do bigger balloons. Bigger. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the table setting uh -huh. for the kids. What have you done here? Okay, so um, little bunny plate carrot napkin to go with the Easter theme. I always like disposable items for mm -hmm. kids, of and these course. Are Plastic, plastic, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Nice. Those are from Amazon as well. And then I just used a little cloth um, placemat just to kind of like tie everything in. Mm -hmm. But I know, cute. isn't that the cute? The napkin's adorable. And then, um, so for the cups, I'm using um, hollow chocolate oh bunnies. Wait, explain how this works, Mary, because <laughs> isn't that gonna melt all over the place? If the well, kid's holding it in their yeah. hand, like. So you can leave part of the foil on there if okay. you wanted to, but I would suggest using cold milk and then um, a cold bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Cold milk, cold bunny. Cold milk, cold bunny. So it, they're hollow. Okay. Uh, you can get these, um, you know, at the drugstore anywhere. And so you're going to use a knife. I know this is a big, scary knife, but okay. I got it started. Um, and then you're just going to create a little hole that's big enough for a straw to go in. No okay. way. You're actually putting a drink inside this. Yeah, chocolate milk for Maybe the kiddos. You can put rose in there later. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. you You could. Don't tell. <laughs> Um, the adults. And Nothing, then yeah. just filling it up with chocolate milk, and then you could put these back in the fridge until you serve, or okay. in the freezer. What a clever um, idea. So cute. With a fun little straw detail. I never Great would have thought to do yeah. so yeah, that's just, adorable. And then I also have, these are from the dollar spot. They're just little like, you know, little Easter eggs that I that I picked up and with little markers, okay. washable markers, and you can you let can ride kids on them. ride on them, draw on them, keep them entertained so they're not getting up out of their seats while right. everyone's trying to eat. Let's move down to the okay. adult Easter on a budget. I can't believe five minutes flies. Okay, so sorry, quickly. sorry. Yeah. I know I'm talking too much. No, you're good. Um, okay, so this is um, just fabric from the um, from the craft store, and then okay. I use these ceramic bunnies from the dollar spot. It's a good idea for spot. a runner. And then put um, fresh herbs in them, okay, so for like a nice mint. little fragrant touch. And then for um, the place setting, I use these super cute Aww, bunny napkin rings from Amazon, and then just put the napkin through. And again, these beautiful uh, plastic golden flatware, that is fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Let's talk about the sangria using rosé. Okay, the so then, um, so I'm just gonna pour, um, this is a bottle of rosé from Trader Joe's. Okay. Perfect. I think it's like $5. Yeah. Awesome. I love Super that rosé is such a thing now. I know, It's a theme too. on today's show. Um, and That's then, the Waterloo, like watermelon yeah, soda. Yeah, it's watermelon. Waterloo, and then I'm just gonna dump in the raspberries. You can do this the Excellent. night before, um, and then, oh, goodness, a little bit of little simple, simple syrup, syrup okay. just and to you can cut make that through. At home if you don't want to buy it, and then you can just take a little bit of the mint from oh. your table. Meredith, you make it look so easy, and it always looks so beautiful. Your Instagram is one of the most beautiful things oh, thank you. I have so seen, sweet. truly. And as always, you can connect with Meredith, any of our guests. Visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. There's a little scene on Houston Life section. You can find her. Thank you for helping us yeah. celebrate. Yeah, Some great ideas. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. Now that the table is set, it's time for more sweets. If your baking skills mm. aren't the best, <laughs> don't worry. You can get your hands on festive treats just like these just in time for Easter. We will be right back. Well, from chocolate eggs to jelly beans and a whole lot more, when we think of Easter, one thing that comes to mind to all of us, it is sweets. But if you want something a little more creative on the table, our next guest is here to help. Yes, Haley Calloway with Haley Cakes and Cookies is joining us now to help us decorate some cookies like a pro. Welcome, Haley. <laughs> Thanks, man. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. And we always love when locals hit it big. Yes. You grew up in Cyprus, and you lived at home until what? You, uh... 
till you moved away to start the cookie company? Yeah, no, I went to school. I went to Texas State, and uh, I think I have 12 hours left, but that's been delayed, so. <laughs> Hey, right, you know, right. I think you're doing just fine. Okay, cool, talk yeah. to us a little bit about what you've brought today because if you haven't seen Haley Cakes and Cookies before, they are some of the cutest things on the planet. And what's great is, even though you're over in Austin, you're planning on opening a Houston location this year, right? Yes, we oh, are. Fabulous. So we're looking for a spot if anybody has any ideas. Uh, I have one. Have to my house. <laughs> Yes, okay, so we, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some Easter cookies. These are just a few. So if you okay. have an egg-shaped cutter at home, you should be able to do this. Okay. Egg-shaped cutter, yes. easy. So it's just a simple uh, sugar cookie you're starting with. Yep, so you always just wanna start. There's basically three steps. There's an outline, which is the first step. Okay. So see, okay. yeah, you're She's doing good. the, She's this good. is gonna be a chicken. Okay, a chicken. Can I use any color to outline? Or oh, yeah, I can't even oh, see on yeah. the outline. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is, oh, well. oh Haley, yes. I'm gonna need. No, you got it. See, Everybody you, thinks it's hard. It's you, not. You go around the outline just and that's it. Look really. Hard. Oh my gosh. Is the name of the game, I mean, really just easy, does it? Patience? Yeah, and just uh, practice. The more you practice, yeah. you know. I feel like if I knew the ratio that's coming out, that's getting on my yeah. cookie, it'd be better. See, and if you were at the bakery, I'd be like, faster, faster. Right. <laughs> and I'd be like, no. No, <laughs> no. Okay, so then after that, if you're oh at home, you just gosh. take the icing and you make it a little bit thinner. Okay. And you will fill in, like we oh, put them in bottles because it's thinner, but you can yeah. always... Now, how do you thin out the icing? Just add some water and stir Just it up. Just add some water and that's what you oh do. Now, listen, we do want to say it while we are... Oh, dear. I don't know what... You can fix it. Oh, I, I didn't know what I didn't know what's happening there. I didn't know what um, really but in case uh, you're just as bad at cookie decorating <laughs> as Lauren is, uh, you can just buy Haley's cookies, right? You, you're yes. doing another little pop-up. What are, actually are Look, you doing? I did. I filled it in. <laughs> where, Although where's, I where's the pop-up shop happening? We're going to have a pop-up shop at Renovate Houston. Renovate. Oh, yes. we love them. They're okay. so cool. So we'll be there tomorrow, and they're going to have extended hours. So they'll be open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and then they're going to open again from 5 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, the Renovate ladies are so awesome. Mother-daughter duo. Uh, go out and see Haley. Uh, well, Lauren, she's going to help me finish this. Let's put a picture at Houston Life.tv. A face, TV. A face, a face <laughs> I can do. I need a different color for a face. Okay, I folks, so we're going to work on our decorating skills with Haley. Haley, thanks again. It's great to see you. <laughs> Continued success to you. We're so proud of you. You can't go wrong with a smiley face. And your friends in Cyprus. <laughs> Still ahead on Houston Life, we're honoring one of the most celebrated Mexican-American artists of the 20th century, Selena, of course. We will be right back. Oh, wow, Lauren, your cookie. Welcome back. As we mentioned earlier, today is the queen of Tejano music, Selena's birthday. And here to help us celebrate is the vocalist Isabel Marie Sanchez performing Selena's 1995 hit, Dreaming of You.
Welcome back. Alliant Group is the nation's premier specialty tax services firm. They are based in Houston and they help businesses get the best incentives when filing their taxes. By the way, they also care a lot about education. That's why they've paired with the Houston ISD to recognize extraordinary teachers with the Elementary Science Teacher Award. There are six finalists, all of which will be featured right here on Houston Life over the next few days. That is true. And our first finalist feature is Mr. Anthony Jones. He is a kindergarten vanguard science and social studies teacher from TH Rogers Elementary School. All right, remember, you have what kind of feet? Body. STEM education prepares kids for uh, jobs that don't exist yet. One, two, three. Go! They're just getting started with their schooling, and so what you teach them now, it's like the foundation that's going to stick with them throughout all of their school, and then, you know, hopefully after they leave high school. How are you going to attach them? Attach them, we're going to have jewelry, attach them with um, tape. Tape, the yeah. tape you bought. A lot of people think kindergarten, four, they're four and five years old, but they often assume that they have more limitations than what they do. And so one thing that I've been trying to do is, you know, through challenging them, kind of see that they're capable of a whole lot more than what people think. Or what about this, maybe you can use this 3D printed piece. And if it's fun and engaging, I think that's where a lot of the learning occurs. Our scenario is it's 2035 and we're going to Mars, uh, but there are no plants on Mars. And the people going are gonna create the very first town up there. And so NASA has hired each group to create these plans. What are we doing for roots? Those, change it to those. They're doing something themselves. That's where I think a lot of learning occurs rather than watching it happen. But they don't give up. Yeah, because I think it's really hard, especially when something gets challenging, they don't give up. I think these kids, they, they like the challenge. Like they want challenge, so I actually have to challenge them or else they get bored. But it's learning and it's organized chaos. So what I keep thinking about these kids in 15 years from now, they're going to be leaving high school. We know there's going to be a lot of STEM related jobs out there. And so that's one reason why I do it. It's just kind of prepares them for whatever comes next. And we are so proud to be putting the spotlight on our great yeah. local teachers. A reminder that all week long, we will be featuring the finalists for the Elementary Science Teacher Award. We will announce the winner live on our show. Okay. That's okay. happening next week. In the meantime, if you would like to learn more about Alliant Group, you can visit their website, alliantgroupnews.com. And still ahead on Houston Life, world-class golf right in our own backyards. More on the upcoming Insperity International and how it's giving back to the Houston community is next. It is so cool. Houston golfers get excited. The Insperity Invitational is heading to the Woodlands in just a few weeks, bringing some of the best of the best along with it. It is such an exciting tournament, by the way. Here with more about that tournament is Davis Trozen with Insperity International. Welcome to the show. This looks like so much fun. And, of course, in true style, it is all about charity as well. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, the, the tournament itself, it's really anchored by the competition. And we have uh, one of the best fields we've ever had this year. Uh, we have eight World Golf Hall of Famers appearing, um, led by our champion, Bernhard Longer. Um, and crowd favorites, John Daly, Miguel Angel Jimenez and some Woodlands, uh, Woodlands resident Jeff Maggart. And it's really all based around charity, um, which is a lot, what a lot of the week is, is all about, which is great. It I've, is I've heard cool. about this Woodlands course, though. It's magnificent. Everybody that always wants to come play golf goes to this course. It's fantastic. I mean, they're a gracious host for us. Um, we have some of the best sponsors in the game in terms of um, Insperity, United Healthcare, and Wood Forest National Bank, you know, and really puts on a, a great venue for us. Um, it really leads into the rest of the week of a great slate of events leading up to the tournament. So. I was on your website earlier, by the way, and the setting is absolutely beautiful. You just mentioned the week of events. It all starts April 29th. Yep. So tell us what happens because each day is a little bit different, and you guys spotlight different charities throughout the week? It is, yeah. So it really starts with our Pro-Am events. Um, so thanks to our sponsors who kind of help us put on the tournament itself. Um, but then we have different Pro-Ams throughout the week where our sponsors get to actually play with a uh, tour player in the field. Um, so that's a wonderful experience for them to entertain clients. How intimidating. Hang out with friends. 
friends. <laughs> right, absolutely. Uh, but then leading into uh, leading into the rest of the week, Friday night we have an Outdrive John Daly competition. Um, it's presented by Fuzzy's Vodka Ooh. and okay. emceed by Fuzzy Zeller himself. And cool. we've been doing local competitions, um, qualifying events to kind of qualify the biggest drivers in uh, the Houston area. And so everyone likes the long ball, you yeah. know. And so it's fun to watch those guys come out. We've I think the shortest drive we've had so far is like 333 yards. Wow. So we're gonna have some good competition. Yeah. Um, and the winner of that actually gets to take uh, gets to go up to um, Fuzzy's Golf Course in Southern Indiana and play golf with him. Oh, um, so oh, not bad. You get the bragging rights of yeah. playing with John Daly, you know. But uh, also the local competition itself has been has been staggering. It's great. Cool. There's yeah. also a breakfast with champions. Yeah. This is happening Thursday morning. Yes. Yeah. So this is uh, one of our charities that we that we highlight um, is Inspiration Ranch, and so the proceeds from this event benefit them uh, but this is a networking it's a breakfast It's actually a World Golf Hall of Fame member Nancy Lopez is uh, featured this year at the breakfast and it's featured on our Champions Club which is on our 18th green so a very unique setting and 100% of the proceeds benefit uh, benefit Inspiration Ranch which is just a wonderful yeah. wonderful organization well and by the way speaking of Inspiration Ranch that's just one of the charities mm -hmm. as Davis just mentioned being featured we do have a little bit more about this charity watch this video I'm Nikki Cruz. And I'm Jason Cruz. And our daughter Dylan is five and she rides at the ranch. At Inspiration Ranch, we offer equine therapies and activities for children with special needs. We serve about 63 different diagnoses and so they come and they ride. They actually receive a therapeutic benefit from the riding that they get as well as learning a sport. We have seen some vast improvements with Dylan since her journey at the ranch began when she was about four and a half. Previous to Dylan riding at the ranch, she wasn't able to verbalize saying I love you. She would simply just pat her chest and, and smile. Through the therapeutic writing at the ranch, Dylan is now able to verbalize and actually say I love you. To hear your child express those feelings for the first time is unbelievable, really. So when I think back at my first impression of Inspiration Ranch, the thing that I instantly took away was, um, I guess for a single word, transformational. Change in the youth, when they're on the horse, they, they seem to get to their real inner self. When I think of Inspiration Ranch, I think of a place of healing. I know for me and my family, we've really experienced healing uh, in a personal level at the ranch. For the volunteers, we don't know what's going on in their lives all the time, but we hear them say, this place healed me as much as it heals the people that I sidewalk or that I lead. Oh my goodness. Aww. What a wonderful story. It's heartwarming, oh. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, I, I feel like what we just saw really underscores what's so great about living in and around the Houston area that, you know, there are all of these fantastic events like yours and having a charitable component as part of it is huge. So again, a reminder that this is just one of a handful of charities being highlighted. Absolutely, yeah. And what Inspiration Ranch does, you know, they have, they feature 70 children each mm -hmm. week, go out there and do riding and up are part of their therapeutic riding program. Um, 25 adults that really kind of strengthen and their emotional um, and their physical relationships mm -hmm. with with each other, and it's really amazing to see. Uh, and they like that, like I said, there's just one of those charities, as the Interfaith of the Woodlands, and many others. And that's what the PGA Tour is all about, and the PGA Tour champions. And um, our event is free and open to the public, you know. So anyone that like to come out and enjoy it, uh, they have that opportunity to do so. And um, we're looking forward to having a, a really great year. This is the, this is the trophy. Look. Yeah. It's made of. It's from Tiffany. From Tiffany, made by Tiffany. Maybe I'm the go best play. of the best. Maybe I'm and play. free and open to the public guys this is amazing let's uh, just recap the event details so you can be sure not to miss it all the information is online there at the bottom of your screen insperityinvitational.com and as a reminder it all starts April 29th up at the Woodlands Country Club and uh, Davis Trozen thank you so much yeah, for stopping for by me. I appreciate it it sounds fantastic thank you out there right yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you well coming up after the break it's rosé all day and we are learning how to add a little glamour to your spring and get together right after this.
wine at a restaurant, you could choose between red or white. But over the last few years, rosé has burst onto the scene. That is so true. And long before that, our next guest was a huge fan. Brenda Anderson with the blog Delicious in the Hamptons is here with tips to help us throw a little rosé-themed get-together. Brenda, cheers. cheers. Thanks for stopping yeah. by. Thank and you all so much for having me. What Lauren just said is yeah. really, really true. It used yeah. to just be red and white, mm -hmm. but now rosé so yep. gaining popularity. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's how did really you learn is. to love it? Well, I started learning to love it. We started going to the Hamptons about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and it really wasn't that big about then. But then over the years, in the last two years, it's just exploded. There's a rosé explosion going on. And used to, there was one in every 500 bottles of wine sold was rosé, but today, in the last two years, it's one out of 50 wow. that is now sold in rosé. Do you see the upscale motion? Yes. From millennials to movie stars. It's all about Question. rosé. Yes. For people that uh -huh. don't know, yeah. there is red and there is white. Right. What is rosé consistent of? Right. Rosé is like they take the grapes and they take red grapes, but they don't do them as long. But then anybody can make rosé. Mm -hmm. So Provence used to be the capital of rosé. If it wasn't from Provence, it wasn't rosé. But that's not true anymore. Now the Hamptons has 50 wineries the Napa of the North. You're kidding. No. Two hours out of New York City. Yeah. Wow. You can take a day trip out there. Okay. Do some of the wineries. Take some rosé. It's like a rosé all day capital of the USA. It <laughs> they drink lovely. it. They make it. It's a party. And by the way, we saw a picture of you with your daughter Ashley, yeah. and I know you have grandkids, uh -huh. and they're the reason why you ended up visiting the Hamptons so much. Yes. Let's talk about yes. what you've created here because Absolutely. this is super cool. We've seen okay. some bar carts right. on the show before, uh -huh. but you have taken it. The, to the next level because oh, you've you. created this great backdrop yes. that can be used as a photo backdrop. Well, it's so oh, exciting. Party. Everyone can have a backdrop like this. It is made out of insulation from Lowe's. I oh. know, that sounds incredible. Can, can you show them? It's, it's yeah, light enough it's to light. carry, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like a so foam board. Light. Kind of. And it's a great photo op. So when you have a party, the hot new thing now is to have a party with a photo op. Do it and, for the gram. Yeah, do it. Do it. Everybody wants an Instagram picture. And this is just plastic boxwood yeah. you bought from Amazon, yes. right? 20 by 20 things. We nailed them up. I mean, we stapled them in. Okay. Put liquid nail. I mean, and it's done. So, and it's easy to carry. You can move it around your house. Mm -hmm. You can put it in the car. And then I also made that rosé all day sign over there. I love so, that. Look back by look Lauren. At that. Yeah. yeah, that's adorable. Yeah, it's and, like, and mm -hmm. by the way, the bar I, cart. Yes, so, I, the bar cart. Brenda has yeah. six bar carts at home. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> I'm addicted to bar carts. What can I say? You spray painted you one know. of them pink. But yes. these things, you were telling me you could mm -hmm. get this from World Market, Target, oh. even thrift stores. They're so days. affordable. And what's so exciting is that you can go to antiques and then you can buy them at garage sales. You can spray them with your spray paint mm -hmm. and they're up. ready to roll. It's a party on wheels. And, bam. and when you go to parties, everybody loves the bar cart. Yes. So when you put your rosé all day on the bar cart and you have your beautiful bottles and everybody's all about learning. So when what we've done today is selected a few of the top luxury ones and then of the affordable luxury, which we're always about have a fabulous drink, splurge every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But then for your everyday, you want to have affordable. Yeah. So some of the top, this is one of my favorites. This is from the Hamptons. Look at that bottle. That's it's such stunning. a beautiful bottle. It, it is, is beautiful. absolutely stunning. And Wolford Winery, they do such an excellent job. It's called Summer in a Bottle. Is that a good name for yes. that? Yes. I mean, that is yes. perfect. That's one of the top rosés out of the Hamptons. But then let's don't leave out the movie stars. This is Merivale. Brad Pitt and Angelique Jolie. Oh, they yeah. got mm -hmm. a help from a winemaker, and it is one of the top rosés. It just yes. went to the top. It's an amazing wine. Brenda, and come then, on over here uh, and join yeah, us because absolutely. we are. We, I want to make sure we get sure, through all absolutely. of these beautiful things you've brought. Yes, you yes. have created this uh -huh. delicious cocktail yes. using are these flowers yes. in the ice. These There's are real flowers. flowers. It's edible flowers that are in the ice. Okay. And then, did you want me to make the cocktail, or y'all just drink it? And then we have. Well, a tell us what's in it. What's in this? Yeah, one? what's in it? Believe it or not, people. Uh, pink cranberry juice. Everything's turned pink. The whole world is turning pink. Okay. It's so exciting. And then St. Germain. I don't know if y'all know about St. Germain. Oh, I love that. You're doing elderflower liqueur. Elderflower liqueur. And then here's another affordable luxury. It's uh, a rosé from uh, Total Wines, $7.99. So, Super cheers. Cool. Cheers. cheers. And by the yeah. way, these edible flowers are just $3.99 from mm. Central Market. Right. Look at these beautiful okay. ice cubes you have made. Yes. These are non-edible. What I did was just take these for the $3.99 flowers, put them in the ice cube, and make them big. And then what we're having here is a tasting. This wine is... La Vie Ferme. Oh, it's, it's the wine with the chicken on it. The wine with the chicken. <laughs> $6.99. dollars 99 That's your affordable luxury. Then we have Hamptons, and it is 
Bon Jovi's. It is beautiful. Brenda, Brenda thank, thank you so you. much for Absolutely. stopping by. And uh, folks, we will be right back. <laughs> it goes by quick, doesn't it? Is that it? This is delicious. <laughs> that was all it. I didn't get to at the other. <laughs> These ice Oh my goodness. Courtney, it looks like you're uh, still shopping out there with SJP, huh? What's the latest? Okay, the latest is she is still here. She's over here walking. She moves like a cat super fast. She's over there um, helping people, checking out, checking the inventory. They just slashed prices for some of the purses that are here. With every purchase today, um, besides your money going to MD Anderson right here in Houston, you get one of the, these SJP totes. Again, the doors at the Bayou City Event Center will be open until 7 p.m. or until the inventory is gone. There is plenty to pick from. Sarah Jessica is still here in Houston, so get on out here. I'm ready to go shop now, okay? <laughs> Am I done with my work? Seriously. Run, run, She's been run. ready to go shop. You are done with your work. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> okay, you're released. Okay, Drop Courtney. The mic. <laughs> have at it. She's been dying to shop. There she goes. Laura <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for filling in. Sherry Shore, thank you for having Great me. Great to see you, my I'm love. I'm jealous of Courtney, but, you know. By the way, her gone. middle name is Rose. It is. Rose. 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 Like, see Rose. you tomorrow.